about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine.
have ears. Snake, we've got to go. We've got an old friend waiting for you. Otacon. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive. But the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... Right. Yeah. Snake, let's try another doctor. <laughs> it won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. Not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Two eggs today? Solidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two. The Manhattan incident triggered a serious public backlash. Now the U.S. has to think twice before intervening militarily in other countries' affairs. This has fueled a push towards military privatization, with PMCs at the heart of that movement. PMCs? Private military companies? That's right. PMCs have no basis in nations or ideologies. They are private enterprises, 
driven by profit. In addition to dispatching mercenaries to war zones, they secure weapons and train local soldiers. They're contractors for war itself, and business is good. Their clientele includes developed nations like the U.S., rebel factions looking to seize power by force, smaller countries lacking armies of their own, even terrorist groups. They're in the Americas, Asia, the South Pacific, Europe, Africa, the Middle East. The rise of the PMC has spawned a war by proxy, and it's spreading across the globe. Sonny, we'll eat them later, okay? Every age has its mercenary. These PMCs are nothing new. We've been dealing with them since before the turn of the century. No, Snake. They're nothing like the mercenaries of the past. They're ready. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. The Pentagon's new battlefield control system has produced a decisive difference between hired guns and the PMCs of today. The system was developed by Arms Tech Security. Arms Tech? You mean AT Corp? Yeah. In recent years, AT Corp has shifted focus from weapons development to security tools. And since the establishment of AT Security, business has been booming. The system makes it possible to integrate not only micro-level information on individual soldiers and units, but also macro-level information about field conditions and order of battle. So they finally achieved total real-time battlefield control. That's right. And as a result, the global presence of PMCs has grown. Explosively. Truth is, the rise of system-controlled PMCs has led to a dramatic decline in civilian casualties and human rights violations on the battlefield. A cleaner, safer battlefield. <laughs> Makes for nice propaganda. more. State governments and rebel groups can't match the maintenance price of standing forces. PMCs, by comparison, are reliable, easy to use. It wasn't long before everybody had them on the payroll. And, as a result, Regular armies began to decline worldwide. It's hard to believe, I know, but PMCs are beginning to overtake conventional armies in terms of scale. Nowadays, it's the PMCs who serve as standard battalions. They already make up 60% of all combatant forces in zones of conflict. 60%? The fact is, the world now depends largely on PMCs for waging its wars. I thought it was the UN that authorized the PMCs in the first place. The US abstained from voting on that resolution. In effect, Washington was endorsing PMCs without ever revealing its true intentions. Until they got wind of the uprising, that is. The US has exported too much military power. And now, she's paying the price. That's exactly it. America has now turned war into a form of economic activity. Analysts are calling it the war economy, in that it's picking up the slack for the downward sloping oil market. But I, for one, don't intend to simply stand by and watch it happen. For the PMCs, market expansion entails fanning the flames of war. It means more refugees. War orphans. Child soldiers. Yes. Even as PMC soldiers get more specialized, they're also getting younger, 
mercenaries spun off from state armies, unmanned weapons, child soldiers, proxy battles in a new Cold War. There are hundreds of PMCs in business worldwide, and their numbers are growing. Currently, five of them are big enough to be labeled global powers, two in the US, and one each in the UK, France, and Russia. Reconnaissance has revealed that those five PMCs are run by a dummy corporation that acts as a single mother company. This mother company embodies the five largest PMCs. Her name is Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven? You mean? That's right. It's Liquid. Liquid? He's taken command of this immense army and is now preparing to unleash an insurrection. I watched him die. His will lives on, in the body of the man once known as Ocelot. He aims to fan the flames of war even higher, to create the perfect world once envisioned by Big Boss. The one world in which soldiers will always have a place. He must be stopped, before it's too late.